In today's tutorial, I will be making a small floral motif. And also, I will be showing you how to join these kind of motifs together to create a larger piece of work. To begin, make a chain of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And join the chain on the round by making a slip stitch. The foundation ring for our motif is made. Now begin the first round. Chain one to bring up the yarn and single crochet 12 into the ring. One, two, three, four, five, and continue. I made 12 single crochet stitches into the ring. Now to complete the first round, make a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Skip the first chain stitch made on the beginning of this round and work a slip stitch into the first single crochet. The first round is ready. Now let's begin crocheting round two. Chain three to bring up the yarn, two, three. Then double crochet into the same first single crochet of previous round. Then, double crochet two times into the next stitch of previous round. One, and the second double work through the same stitch two. Continue chain four for the chain space. One, two, three, four. Then, double crochet two times into each of next two single crochet stitches of previous round. So into the next single crochet work two doubles. One and two and into the next single crochet work the same two double crochet stitches. One and two. Continue, repeat the same stitch sequence over again. Chain four for the chain space, three, four, and then work two double crochet stitches into each of next two single crochet of previous round. One, and double crochet into the same stitch, two, and the same into the next stitch, double crochet, one, and two. Keep repeating the same stitch sequence till the end of this round. When you are done with round two, there should be six such kind of chain spaces in this round. Let's complete the second round together. I'm done with the last stitch sequence, and as you can see, we have only five chain spaces of six. Now, to complete this round, we need to make a chain space. Instead of making chain space of four, here I will work a little different, which makes it easy for me to begin the next round. So for the last chain space, chain two, one, two, and complete this round by making a half double crochet into the third chain stage from the beginning of this round. One, two, three, four, so the hook into the third chain stitch and work a half double crochet. We've completed the second round. Now at this point we can begin round three. Chain one to bring up the yarn and then chain six more for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, single crochet into the following chain space of four. Repeat, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and single crochet into the next chain space. Continue the same till the end of this round. 
I'm about to complete round three. I chained six for the last chain space. Now finish this round by making a slip stitch through the first chain stitch. Round three is ready. There are six chain spaces of six there. Let's continue the work. The next is round four, where I'll be making petals for our floral motif. Chain one to bring up the yarn, then single crochet into the first chain space of six. Then chain three is to bring up the yarn to begin the first petal. One, two, three. Continue into the same chain space. Treble crochet five. And on top of each treble, Make a three chain pico. So yarn over the hook two times to work a treble. Work into the same chain space. Then for the pico, chain three and slip into the treble. One treble with a pico is ready. Now continue and repeat the same four more times to have five trebles with pico. So treble crochet and work a pico. It's two, then treble crochet and make a pico, chain three and slip into the treble. It's the third one. Now treble crochet and work a pico on top, one, two, three, and slip. And the last fifth treble. Don't forget to make a pico, one, two, three, and slip. Here is the first petal. Continue. Chain three to lower the yarn to the chain space and single crochet into the same chain space. Here, as you can see, the first petal or a segment of our motif is ready. Now, before we begin the second one, single crochet into the next single crochet of previous round. Here is the stitch. Then continue work the second petal into the next chain space of six. Work the same single crochet, then chain three, one, two, three, then treble crochet five, and on top of each treble make a pico, then chain three and single crochet. Keep working till the end of this round. By the end of this round, there will be six large petals. I'm about to complete this round. I made six petals. Now let's complete this round together. Finish this round by making a slip stitch through the first chain stitch. The motif is completely ready and you can cut off the yarn. This is the front and let's take a look at the back. In the second part, Crochet Motifs Tutorial 2, I will show you how to connect these beautiful motifs together to create a larger piece of work. Thanks for watching.